Greetings JV Zoo product sellers. Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to show you how to manage new affiliate requests. So you have some products for sale. How exactly do new affiliates find your products and requests to promote? When you uh, see your list of products here, for example, these are my demo products. If you click on actions, you will see this affiliate details page. Okay, so here's what it looks like, your affiliate page for your product. The affiliate will only need to submit this request for one product and it will apply to the entire sales funnel. So example here is I have, this is my sales funnel. I have the sales funnel right here with three products. So if the affiliate submits his request, request approval it will apply to all or my entire sales funnel so he doesn't have to submit to each one of my products here and request approval for three products or five products or however many in your sales funnel just submit one and it will apply to the sales funnel the entire sales funnel I hope that makes sense so here they can leave a note like leave their website or social media profile URLs they can do that here and then click here and check this box request approval and let me show you what that looks like right here so this is the affiliate request page under your sellers menu here click on the affiliate options and right here it'll show affiliate requests and this is the request page and down here will show you any of the newest affiliate request and you will also get an email alert anytime a new affiliate requests product approvals so let's check out what each one of these columns mean so we have the affiliate details right here so they have the affiliate name and email how many products they've sold or how many sales they've gained from the affiliate promotions how many refunds so they bring really bad quality traffic or customers that request a lot of refunds it'll show a high refund rate here so usually anything under 10% is okay to accept them and then now we have the approval or approve deny buttons if you click on all that means anytime they request approval for any of your products they will automatically be approved so you don't want to press the all unless you really uh, know this affiliate and they bring in good quality sales and traffic. JVZoo Pay, uh, this is kind of new recently. So you click here, this affiliate will get their commissions through the JVZoo Pay system. And that's actually pretty good because uh, they will be paid automatically and you don't have to mess around with manually paying them. Instant, they will be paid instantly. So this is kind of dangerous if it's a new affiliate, you don't want to hit the instant. Since you don't know their history, the traffic may be bad and they get a lot of refunds. So you don't want to click instant unless you trust the affiliate. And delayed is pretty popular. So you hit this for new affiliates and click on delay. That way they do not get paid instantly and then you have to manually pay them later, which is the very, very annoying part of JVZoo. This is actually the worst feature I think with JVZoo is the delayed payments. It's not automatic. You have to manually pay them. So if you're an affiliate or seller, you have to manually track like every 30 days, pay out your affiliates. So this is very bothersome to a lot of affiliates and vendors. Click on JVZoo Pay. It's safer and it's automatically taken care of and it's delayed automatically for new affiliates anyways. So use this instead of the delayed none of the other top affiliate networks like word plus and clickbank even though they do have delayed commissions but it's automatically done for vendors and affiliates only jvzoo and maybe some other ones still have this delayed with manual payments so this is very not a good feature so i won't recommend doing the delayed and deny is if you want to deny the affiliates so even though you deny them of this product they can still apply for other products and here's the product name that they submit the approval for and this is a note that they can leave to include some information about themselves or if they have any websites social media links they can add that here and so this is actually one of my customers that have bought this so let's do jvzoo pay since they don't have a lot of history so that's pretty much it with this 
and JVZoo Pay will receive the money first and then any refunds will go through them, JVZoo Pay and then the affiliates can withdraw their money from their own JVZoo Pay account and they can withdraw it via PayPal or other payment systems they've set up with JVZoo Pay and that's pretty much it for approving or denying affiliate requests for your products. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for viewing. Be sure to subscribe to How to Webmaster for more internet marketing tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks again, and until next time, happy marketing.